Kud Malloy here coming at you with another update on this rotisserie chicken adventure. Look at how damn juicy. Oh my God. Look at how juicy that chicken came out. Perfect. That is perfection. Look at, look at, just, just look, look at the juices that are dripping from the thigh meat and from the breast. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but this chicken came out perfect. Crispy skin, crunch, crunch, crunch. What I did was, you're going to have to check out the videos that I posted before this one. But basically what I did was, I cut up some vegetables pretty thin so that the vegetables would cook at the same time that the, that the chicken was done. This is a Costco rotisserie chicken that I threw back in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or so to crisp up the skin and make sure it was cooked all the way through. I, I butterflied the chicken before I did all that. Anyways, you're gonna have to see the videos that I posted before this one to see how we got to this point. But just look look at that glistening, <laughs> glistening chicken. This is so moist and so juicy. Can't put it into words. I'm just gonna have to eat it all and then let you know through smell o vision how this all smelled and tasted and all that good stuff. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing, oh, look at, look at that. glisten, glistening, glistening. <laughs> moist chicken anyways if you like what you see and hit that like button hit the subscribe button wherever that is check out the description section check out the comment section for more videos like this and definitely go back in the playlist to see how we got to this point but this to me is a chicken dinner with vegetables this will probably serve somewhere in the neighborhood of around maybe six people you know maybe a few more if you have some kids or whatever some little small ones running around but there you go Chicken from Costco that I spatchcocked, basically butterflied open, right? Took out the backbone, put it over some vegetables that I cut pretty thin and parboiled the potatoes so that everything would be ready at the same time. I still have some pan drippings in there, some juices I can put over everything to make it all even more, even juicier. But there you go. There is perfection in a rotisserie chicken. Anyways, like button, subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Catch you all on the next exciting adventure.